what's going on you guys here we go again we're i think like eight episodes in we're still doing it 30 by 40 30 videos in 40 days and of course it's starting to get really rainy it's supposed to be one of the roughest storms that we've seen in quite a while which got me thinking about what we're going to talk about today you can see the gym green screen right behind me got me thinking about something uh, about another time where I was in a gym and the rain or mother nature kicked our ass and proved once again that mother nature despite all of her power or despite all of her maybe sensitivity always wins and so let's do this it's a slideshow I put together I hope you guys like it it's story time all right, so we're gonna start with a day. We're gonna start talking about this, training through adversity, right? Or any thunderstorm. This is a story about how myself, a couple other trainers, and a whole bunch of members inside the gym got our asses handed to us by mother nature, but came out on the other side having a little bit more toughness, all right? And we did it by helping each other by working together, by form, by forming a Voltron, becoming a team. Like this was in 2008. This is, look, if you type in gyms, this is just inside of San Jose. Look at all this. You could throw a pebble and hit a gym. Well, back, back, back in 2008, there was like half, maybe a quarter of all these places, right? And this was our gym, very Spartan, okay? It was on Alma and 87 it was really small it was like a thousand twelve hundred square feet it was pretty beat looking it looked like um it was built in the 30s it had you know the drywall no concrete anywhere to speak of uh except on the floor it was a narrow it's a little shoe box with a bathroom in the back it was made for maybe like some kind of office i think now it became part of a local grocery store but here's where we trained and we used my backyard squat rack it's kind of like this, but mine was rusty. The weights, the weights were rusty too. And we had like a few, maybe like eight dumbbells, nothing really fancy at all as in the middle of Willow Glen too. So it was really like a contrast. One day we look up and we see all of mother nature starting to come in. She's like, Hey, I know you got plans. I know you're doing your thing, but I'm here now. So we're going to, I'm going to start showing you what's up, right? I don't know, maybe we got too comfortable with our situation. So here we are in the gym training and well, the ceiling starts to fall down. All those tiles up here, we had a bunch of these tiles, they started to fall, 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 until, until one day, man, all of them fell and this was pouring like a waterfall. It wasn't just leaks, it was a waterfall. And what happened was we had to figure out a way to come together. How are we gonna do it? right because as we're inside the gym looking to the back and the leak is getting worse we're training so as we're training it starts to pour and then all of a sudden it just collapses and we're like uh oh we had to call in the troops we called the landlord the landlord said um lucky for the landlord as apathetic he didn't give a damn about us but we kept the pressure on him and we're like yo what do we do so we took we got everybody together and we started picking up the dumbbells the barbells and moving them into the next space the space next door right so we had this gym here we had this we picked it up maybe someone helped me pick this one up and we got the barbells together and we got the dumbbells and all the bands and the in the in the heavy bag and the heavy bag rack and we moved it over into the next oh man into the next gym it was just like this in fact this is a little bit nicer than what we moved into the new gym was bigger it had big ass windows facing the street it had two doors and it was just a big hollow empty box with concrete and a bathroom in the back that you didn't want to go into without a flashlight to be honest and all of us banded together we formed an assembly line of bringing in all of the weights, everything that we could get in there. Eventually we had the heavy bag randomly, the random dumbbells in the corner, right? The medicine ball, the one bench, it looked just like this. 
pretty much like this, right? With a bathroom off in the corner. And we started the workout together. But at that moment, I figured out that people don't really care if they feel like the gym is a team and everybody has a say inside the gym. And so it's great to have all these beautiful amenities. It's great to have showers. It's great to have hot towels and have, you know, big vending machine with the fresh juices and ready for you when you get out of class. All of that is great, but nothing will substitute a positive gym environment where everybody loves to be there and loves to work out. And look, in the middle, in the middle of Willow Glen of all places, when there weren't that many gyms, I saw it firsthand for myself. And I'm lucky enough to say that we've come a long way as we venture back into the gym that we're at. So remember, when Mother Nature, you know, has plans or any really big force of nature, you're only as strong as you are with your team. You're only as strong as is the support you have with your team. And that team is only as strong, is only strong if they believe, if they believe in the rest of the team. We're men, women, children, whatever. We're never an island, right? And as much as today's society will try to make us believe that everything we say and think is really important, it really only is important in the context of other people. So. It's good to keep that teamwork going and always have a good set of teammates around, right? I'll see you on the next one.